Hey, Waterfield. Um, I've had, uh, I've been having quite a few conversations with people about tattoos recently, or just the, this past few days, or this past week. I feel like I've had a few conversations about it. Um, and it's an interesting thing to talk about, especially with people who have tattoos. And it's honestly kind of a difficult thing to, not difficult, but slightly yeah, awkward thing to talk about with people that have them. Because I always make the point that I could never commit to something permanently on my body. And pretty much, I don't know, my angle is always just that I can't really understand where it comes from. The, uh, just the confidence in a decision to get a certain kind of tattoo. I mean, I, I do understand it on a few levels. Like, I mean, I think they look cool. I think tattoos on the skin look cool. I mean, certain ones do. Not all tattoos. Some tattoos look really bad. In fact, most tattoos, I think, don't look very good. Or, I mean, that's, that's owed to the design itself, not the, the medium. But, I think, yeah, I do think, I think tattoos can look really cool. And I can imagine myself seeing a tattoo on my skin and thinking that it added, contributed something cool to my, my appearance. But at the same time, I can't really make the, the leap. I can't, uh, turn that into an, an actual decision to get one because I know that I just get bored of things. I get bored of pictures. Or m more to the point, I, I, my taste changes very often. And, um, I don't know, I feel like I should be able to make this point. But I do uh, to people who have tattoos. Because it's like... It's just inherent, like that. You can't, I mean, I guess you can, but it would be an interesting thing to have a tattoo and not have thought through the contingencies that you might not like it in the future or something or other. I think tattoos are really interesting. As a, as a trend, I mean, as a, yeah, just as a cultural trend. Because it, sort of what makes them cool, I mean, what makes them have the meaning that they do is their permanence. And the kind of, I guess there's like a ritualistic aspect to it as well. A sort of, I don't know, sacrificial, like, it's a pain thing. You yeah. The commitment is cool. Um, but I'm sure... I mean, I feel like people do kind of tiptoe around the problems of getting tattoos. Um, I mean, just like the basic ones that like it could lead to I don't know if you call it like dysphoria. Um, or just anxiety, or just like, you know, discontent. Discontent? Mal malcontent? About your body? About what you look like? I mean, that's, that is something you're submitting yourself to, potentially to in getting a tattoo. I don't know, I just feel like there is some... 
I don't know. Maybe I'm just me. It's just me. I guess it is just me. Because I I just know that like if I was to decide to get a tattoo, <laughs> there'd be a big set of criteria I'd have to have thought through or fulfilled in the in the decision. I mean, I I just can't you know I can't ever see myself permitting to tattoo. And people will say, I mean, a lot of people get them there, um, because they they talk about it like it's like just a sort of relic of this particular time in their life, um, which I guess is fair enough. Uh, I just can't empathize. I had an interesting point about it where uh, someone was saying it's like most things, most things about your physical appearance you don't really have control over. Like, you know, a birthmark, for example, or, you know, whatever, the shape of your face, <coughs> color of your hair. I mean, you do actually have color of hair and shape of hair. But um, tattoos sort of introduce some agency, some in the, like, you can make a decision about a permanent physical attribute of yours, which is a, a, something powerful and important to some people. Which is a good point. But I just don't think, I mean, I doubt most people that get tattoos think of it that way. Um, I, 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 yeah, but I feel awkward, um, obviously, I mean, actually, talking about that with, um, people who have tattoos. I, like, <laughs> I mean, just tonight I felt really awkward, because I actually, I mean, I think I was rude, actually, to someone, and... I feel bad about it. I mean, they seem fine. They said they said it was fine. Like they said, they were like, "No, no, not at all." But you know, it could have easily offended them, um, and I wouldn't have said it again. I, like they just—we uh, were looking at their tattoos. Was, she actually had like a really cool tattoo. It was just like a—it um, looked like it looked like a botanical sketch of a flower and a stem. And it's just like incredible detail. I thought it was really cool. Um, but she also had this other tattoo, which um, it, it was a lotus seed pod, which it's it just looks like a kind of rough circular thing with seeds um, embedded in large. Uh, separate pores. And, um, it's associated with this f- phobia, which was popularized online called trypophobia or ty- typrophobia, typophobia. I can't exactly remember the name. It's like TY something phobia. Um, and it's often, um, <laughs> I guess triggered by these, like, photo... I mean, they're really popular images online because they're just famously gross and disturbing. But they're these photoshopped pictures of uh, these lotus... So, uh, the phobia is of um, clusters of small holes. I think that's it. And maybe it's clusters of small holes in the skin, or maybe that's just how it's portrayed for maximum affect. Um, but it's just like these, it would just be a, a lotus seed pod photoshopped onto someone's arm or something, and then maybe like made to look sort of like some infection, some fungal infection. And so it's pretty much this, like a, I guess a pussy looking cluster of holes with seeds inside them. 
and it's really <laughs> disturbing. Um, anyway, I, <laughs> I just thought, I don't know, I saw it and I was like, because that, it, it is that on her skin, um, I thought it was a reference to that. And if she knew about it, I was like, oh, <laughs> I said, oh, I really badly spoke it. I said, oh, you got one of those, you got that gross lotus, um, seed thing <laughs> on your arm. <laughs> and, um. Uh, yeah, because I just thought that that was, it was, it was like, I thought it was just like a direct reference to that, but it, um, it wasn't, and she just liked the seed pod itself, <laughs> um, and she was like, yeah, I just got, I mean, that thing just kind of got popularized online relatively recently, which is true, I mean, not really, you know, it's been, it, you know, she got the tattoo a while ago, <sighs> and then <laughs> I kind of like... Yeah, and she was saying like how her, her she had like some of the seed pods out at her house, and her housemates were like, "Oh, those are gross." And she, she had to put them in her room. So it's funny. It's just like a, a sort of movement in in this in being phobic of these of small clusters of holes. And I kind of was like, yeah, I, I don't know. I just misspoke. I didn't misspeak. I spoke my mind. I, I just said I associate it with that kind of disturbing content. But I probably shouldn't have. Because that's something permanent in someone's skin. And there's just no point in commenting on it because it's not my place. And I can't do anything about it anyway.